Hi study buddies, so today I thought I would show you my back to school supplies shopping experience. I'm going to be a senior in high school in a matter of weeks, so I bought a few items that I needed for the school year. So before I actually went shopping, I had a checklist of all the items I needed. And if you didn't know, I did a back to school stationery haul two weeks ago, so I didn't really need to get a lot of things, just basic school supplies. I really wanted three notebooks, flashcards and a carrying case, a new binder or folder, paper clips of some sort, sticky notes, a Casio FX115 white display calculator, filler paper, college ruled, sticky tabs, and maybe some extra things. So all in all, those were all the items I really wanted to get when I went shopping. So before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm currently doing a back to school series where I show you study, productivity, and organization tips for school. And without further ado, let's begin. So last week, I went to Chipotle with a friend just to eat lunch. Then I went to my local Michaels. And if you don't know what Michaels is, it is an art and craft store that sells many things. I wasn't planning on getting a lot, but I ended up getting some wooden clips and a scrapbook. So my friend and I bought the same craft scrapbook just to take some Polaroid pictures and document our senior year. So after Michaels, we went to Kohl's just to see what they had. I didn't get anything there but I was looking through the card section and there were so many cute birthday cards and other things that I really wanted to get but they were so expensive they were like around five to six dollars so I didn't get anything there. So the last place we decided to go was Staples. So this is where I wanted to get the majority of my items. So once we were there, I went straight to the sticky note section and I found these really nice pastel sticky notes. I put them in my cart, but I was unsure if I wanted to get them. But Staples is one of my favorite places just because it sells so many good stationary items and just items for back to school. I really wanted to go to Target, but Staples was closer, so I ended up going to Staples. 29. Oh, these are mini. Wait, I could share these with you. We could split them. Yes, we can. Then after that, I browsed through the scissor section and I didn't get anything because I already have scissors even though I really want an extra pair for school. I really wanted to get a ruler but I know that Muji sells these really nice metal rulers so I didn't get anything at Staples because I do have a Muji gift card that I'm going to be spending very soon so that is why I didn't get a lot of things at Staples just because I am waiting to get some items from Muji. The next stop was this section of paper clips and I really just wanted to get a really good set of paper clips for my school year. So I found this mix and match set of paper clips, pins, and other paper clips and they were really nice. They were only around four dollars so I ended up getting them. I think they're just really pretty and yeah I'm gonna use them throughout the school year. The next section was washi tapes and I didn't get any washi tapes because I already have a lot at home but also if you are getting washi tapes I would really recommend looking at the Michaels selection because Michaels has really nice washi tapes. The ones at Staples are kind of weird. There are holographic ones but they're just not really nice. $10 for pen. Next on my list was notebooks and I was debating on the 5 star brand or the Acel brand that Staples has and I ended up getting 3 notebooks. They were around 97 cents and they're from the Staples brand Acel. So eventually I just gave up my 5 star notebooks because I didn't think $3 was worth it and I really love the Staples brand Acel notebooks. I think they're just as good and just as pretty. So in my cart right now I have some paper clips, some post-it notes, and 3 notebooks. Next, I found these really beautiful all white scissors. They were around $10, so I didn't get them. I love the brand Poppin, and for sure, I'm definitely getting something from their brand one day, but not today. Next on my list was calculators, and I already do have a T1000 
TI-84 graphing calculator, but I really just wanted a good scientific calculator for basic math. And I really wanted the Casio FX-115 white display calculator, but they only had the gray one, so I ended up not getting it. Next, I was looking through some desk organizers and I didn't really like any of them. They just didn't look that good. I also found these really pretty sticky tabs and they're pretty expensive. They're $3.50, but I did get them because I really needed some really good sticky tabs. So also on my mind, I was really, really hoping to get a really good pencil box, but I didn't get one because they just didn't look that good. I also really wanted a binder, but I didn't get a binder because they were either too expensive or just not that pretty, not that nice to use, so I didn't get one. I really liked this binder from Poppin. It was a gray one, but it was $10, so I didn't get it. And Staples has a clearance section, and I always look through the clearance section if they have any good deals, but they were, it was just not that good. I mean, there was a water bottle for $18, which is not clearance. I don't know why would they would make that, but there was also like a dollar phone case or like five dollar phone cases, but yeah, I just didn't find anything that I liked. So that was my whole back to school shopping experience. I ended up spending around $25, which is not bad. I feel like that is kind of justifiable because it is back to school stuff. So before I go over my haul, I have a quick announcement I need to make. I made two beautiful enamel pins. One is a classic rose, the other is a rainbow, and all the profit I make from the pins is going to charity. So if you do get a pin, that would be awesome. One pin is $7.50, two pins would be $10.50. And right now for a limited time, there is free shipping on all orders in the US if you use the code YouTube. I'll leave a link to my store in the description, thanks. So now I'm gonna go over everything I bought. The first thing was one of my favorites. It's the set of various clip pins and other things. The set was originally navy blue paper clips and clips, white pins and white paper clips. But I replaced the paper clips with wooden mini clothespins. The wooden ones were from Michaels and I love them because I use them to hold up my Polaroid pictures on my string lights and I think they just look really nice. And they have this metallic sheen to it so it shines when the light hits them. So the next item was also from Michaels. It's the craft scrapbook with brown craft paper inside. It's this kind of tan color to it and I really love it because it's portable and I'm going to document and take pictures of my last year of high school in it. The next item was not from my shopping haul. I bought this from Anthropology. It was around $5. The original price was $40 but because 2017 is halfway done, they reduced the price by a lot. It's from the brand called Sugar Paper LA and you might have seen their planners and other notebooks from Target. And the main reason why I bought it was because I love the chambray material. It's kind of like denim and I really wanted a new planner before I started school. So this is like the perfect way for me to organize and plan my school year. After that, I bought some $1 plastic sticky tabs. I'm going to use them in my textbooks and other books. I also bought this one with various sticky tabs just to keep me through my last year of high school. The next few items were flashcards and I really love this various colored two pack of flashcards. They were around $4 and I also bought a carrying case just to organize my flashcards by classes, courses, chapters, etc. So I decided to get a white notebook, a black notebook, and a burgundy type color notebook just because burgundy is the color of my backpack so it kind of matches and I really like that about it. Sadly, they were only in wide ruled paper but I think that's fine. I think, I don't know. And lastly, I bought a few packs of filler paper and surprisingly, I ran out of filler paper a few months ago so I just bought four packs of college ruled lined paper. That was everything I bought from Staples. I didn't get a binder because I didn't really like any of them at Staples. And I also didn't get sticky notes because I already have enough at home. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That was the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed your summer break. It is almost school season, but don't worry. I have many more videos coming. A lot of videos are going to be study tip, productivity tips, how to be productive during the afternoon, etc. And I hope you guys subscribe to this channel because I'm going to post a lot of those videos. Subscribe, give this video a like, and leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!